Hey guys, welcome back to Brew Over Made. Today, I want to answer a question nobody's asking. Why do we not sharpen jaw bits the same way we sharpen chisels? So, I was sat here doing my normal thing on a Monday, just doing maintenance, sharpening jaw bits, sharpening chisels, doing all that stuff. And I asked myself the question, why do we not sharpen jaw bits the same way we sharpen chisels? So, the way you'd sharpen a chisel... The way we'd sharpen the drill bit is we'd head over to the bench grinder. We'd, uh, you know, find our, what is it, like 59 degree angle or something. Give it a few little licks and then boom, sharp drill bit, take it and start doing our thing. But the way we sharpen a chisel is we do it very precise. We take it up to a nice high grit and we get it hair shaved and sharp. But a drill bit is basically two chisels that are spinning around in unison to create a hole. So why do we not sharpen these the same way? I can't see anything online about people sharpening draw bits up to a high grit. So let's see if there is any benefit to sharpening a draw bit all the way up to, let's say, like 3000 grit or something like that. So join with me as we do this pointless task. Let's head over to the bench grinder. Let's get a normal edge on this and then we'll take up to a high grit and see what see what it is. But first of all, let's see how fast we can drill a hole with this dull draw bit. Right, so first of all, let's get a benchmark. Got a piece of pine here. I'm going to put dull. That's, there we go. Dull. So, let's get a dull drill bit. And let's see how long it takes to drill. Actually, this drill bit's not as dull as I thought it was, but you can see here, we've gotten a bit of chip out here. It's not the cleanest hole. Blew out the back a little bit. So now let's sharpen it on the bench how we would usually sharpen it and see what the difference is. All right, so that took about two minutes on the bench grinder. Uh, I like to sharpen my drill bits uh, with a very, very aggressive relief in the back. I just find it that it clogs up the holes a lot less and stuff. But we've got this sharp now. Uh, well, what we consider sharp on the bench grinder. So let's see how long it takes to drill the hole now. So I slipped on this one, uh, and it, yeah, it just chipped and everything. Uh, but this is <clears throat> where we're going to be doing the bench one now. So let's put it in. See how long it takes. Oh, that was basically instant. So let's compare the two. That's the bench there. You can see we still got a little bit of chip out around the sides, uh, but it took a lot, lot. Well, it's a lot easier to draw right through. Got a little bit of chip out on the side, but the actual inner hole, I don't know if you can see on camera, looks a lot smoother than the dull drill bit. So this is the dull, dull drill bit, the entry, a bit chipped. This is the sharper one, the entry, still chipped, but is a little bit better. That's the exit on the dull drill bit. That's the ex Oh, that's the exit on the bench drill bit. So slightly better results it drilled a lot lot faster but if we take this to the handstone now and try and refine that edge see if we can get this a lot lot sharper so let's head over to the stones so here i have a thousand grit diamond stone this is what i use to quickly just uh, put a fresh edge on a chisel uh, before i go into it that this isn't like how i would redo a chisel this is just before i do a project if it's a little bit dull i'll quickly freshen it up on the diamond stone so diamond stone down let's try sharpen this i don't even know what sort of how i'm going to hold this to sharpen this but we'll figure it out and uh, we'll see how sharp we can get the edge
I'm going to try a different technique to sharpening this because although it's getting sharper, it's uh, a little bit of a weird angle doing it like this. So I'm going to see if I can put the drill bit in the vise and then uh, use this on top of it to sort of file it like that. See if that's any easier. Right, so I'm calling it there for the thousand grit. As you can see, the edges are a lot more shinier. If I can get it in focus, give them. So we've got some much more shinier edges there. It feels like it has slightly less, not less bite. It feels like it has slightly more bite to it. Doesn't feel too much different though from when we took it off the bench grinder. So let's quickly try it in the wood and uh, see what results we get. Put it in the drill, and uh, let's see how quick it goes through. Hmm, that was still very fast. We got a bit of chip out. Let's try another hole. That one was a bit slower and more controlled. Still some chip out. Let's try to score real fast. Oh, that just fell into the other hole. That was still very fast. Trying to have a look at the inside of the hole. Yeah, it does seem pretty clean. Feels very buttery. And you can see the chips are okay. So far, it doesn't seem worth the effort, but let's go to a higher grit. See if that changes anything. Now we have some 3000 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to use this stone, put it over that as the back end. And uh, let's see if we can get an even more polished edge on this and see how it cuts. Right, so that's the edges all polished up, as you can see there. Very, very shiny tips. Sharp cutting edges. Now, again, this feels sharp, has a lot of bite to it, but it doesn't feel any different to when it comes off with the bench grinder. Which is slightly confusing, you know. You'd think it'd be a lot sharper. Like if we take a block here, see if we can scrape a uh, nice thing off. Yeah, you can see we're not really getting like how you would a chisel. Although, it's not really the same geometry, is it? So, let's uh, let's put it in the drill. Let's drill a hole and let's see if it was worth it. So far, though, I don't think there's anything really to this. I think just off the bench would be perfectly fine. But let's go ahead. Let's uh, drill the hole and see what it is. Uh, let's see how fast it goes first. That seems very comparable to the other ones. Right, let's really push it, see how fast we can get it to go. Oh. Maybe a bit too fast there, got a lot of chip out. Alright, let's try to drill a nice hole at normal speed. Oh, we haven't got quite we haven't got a lot of chip out there. That <clears throat> that looks quite 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 good. The inside finish looks very good as well. Let's do another slowish hole. Okay, that just chipped out straight away.
we are getting some nice chips. And that's the cleanest hole yet. But, uh, not really sure if it's worth it, you know? It doesn't feel any sharper than when it comes off of the bench. I mean, it's definitely sharp. It just don't feel that great. Like, here's a drill that came off of the bench. I, I put a very aggressive angle on this uh, just because, well, I wanted to see what it'd be like. But let's see what this is like. This is straight off the bench. Let's do it nice and slow. And of course, because this is a bigger drill, you'd want to use a pilot hole. So, this side I'm going to do a bunch of holes with one that was sharpened on the bench, because this is nice and sharp, and on this side I'm going to do the one that we sharpened up to 3000 grit. So let's just do a bunch of holes and compare the feel, different speed and times. Sorry, my camera died then, the audio might be different because I can't plug my microphone in because I've got to plug my phone in, so... We'll carry on just drilling from the one that was sharpened on the bench. And we'll do some more with the one that was sharpened to 3000 grit. See if we can get a better look at that edge there. Look how shiny that edge is compared to some of that just came off with the bench grinder. Granted, this is a, a bigger drill bit and it's got a much steeper angle of attack. But... It's very, very shiny. Some how, how I'd sharpen my chisels. Enough rambling, let's carry on with this. So as you can see, this side was the stuff that came off with the bench grinder, and this side was the one we sharpened to 3000 grit. It took longer to do all of these holes than it did to do all these holes. Let's see if we got the same amount of holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, one less, but that was a hell of a lot more quicker. And uh, it looks a lot better, and it felt a lot butterier going through. See... I was unsure at first until I went back to one that I sharpened on the bench grinder and it does feel a lot quicker and it feels more butterier. Is it that much of a difference to spend the extra time to sharpen it all the way up? No, I don't think so. I think going straight off the bench grinder, I think that would be enough, especially if you have a handful of drill bits that you need to do. But it was a good experiment. I think if you wanted to do some really, really precise holes, like as you can see here, very, very little chip out compared to all of these. Like every single one of these got a lot of chip out and raised the edges and stuff. A lot of these are a lot cleaner holes. So, yeah. There is some difference to a, a, a drill bit that's sharpened to a higher grit, but to be honest, sharpen it off a bench grinder more than good enough so that's gonna be it for this video hope you enjoyed it i just wanted to make a quick little video just for shits and gigs to see you know is it really worth sharpening a chisel to a really high grit just a little thought i had while i was uh sharpening some of my drill bits so hope that answered some questions that no one's asked this video feels completely pointless but i'll see you in the next one hope you enjoyed it